Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Hat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're doing our store haul for the month of April. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Before we get started with our amazing store haul for the month of April, we got super lucky. Ton of stuff, which we probably shouldn't have got. Um, but somehow we found it all. It was amazing. Uh, super awesome. All coming up for you guys. But first, do all that normal stuff for us. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Drop some comments down below. Those comments down below might help you win something, too. We're going to do a little giveaway. Matt, go ahead with the giveaway. Stuff. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway. We're getting up to that that number real quick. And so we wanted to throw something together to sort of you know, help this channel grow and also help you guys uh, try to win some stuff. So what we're going to have you do is like this video and then comment down below. And what that will let you do to win is one of these minor stuff hats. We also got some patches here. Whiskey is my vaccine. Smoke brisket, not meth. The good old etch a sketch your mom in the hate hand job. Minor stuff keychain. We got a minor stuff sticker and we got good old the Duke patch as well. Um, so all you have to do is do that random common generator. We'll uh, hit it when we hit 500 subscribers. We'll pick out a winner. We'll send all this stuff out to you. Um, the other thing that we also have to welcome is the little new mascot that we got to our bourbon bar down here. So we got to figure out a name though. So this could be your comment down below. We keep, we keep arguing name. about the name and we need some help. Drop a name down below that you want us to name the Buffalo and that will also get you entered in to win all of our 500 subscriber giveaway stuff. Um, hope us, help us get to a thousand. We're going to do another giveaway at a thousand. It's going to be we're gonna better. We're going to include a bottle when we get to a thousand. Yeah. So. so help us get there everybody. Um, Matt, all what right. did we kill this month? We killed Bland's. Yes, we did. It was absolutely delicious and awesome. Along with Bland's, we killed an Eagle Rare. And this was actually one of my favorite ones. I went through it a whole uh, weekend, basically, Old Forester 100. It was delicious. It's a great You killed it without me, son. You killed it without me. Stuff happens. Jack Daniels, Single Barrel Select. Single barrel Another select. great, you know, anything other than Jack Old Number 7, the is really delicious. Like, give them a try. It's definitely worth it. I think it. a lot of people hate Jack just because of number seven. I, I think they get a lot of crap for that. And then, obviously, Handy and Chiller. We're still on the old-fashioned kick. I actually killed the Old Forester making... I had it on the rocks, but I also made a couple of fashions with it. But, um, you know, it's it's great. And it seems like we're going through at least a bottle a month of that. And it's, it's a delicious oh, drink. It's so good. So, so good. All right, well, let's get in to the amazing stuff we picked up this Start month. Start with what we're drinking today with the very first bottle of Store Hall. Jack Daniel 10-year. I was looking for this everywhere. Could not find a bottle. Finally found a bottle. Had to pay, uh, not full secondary, but a little bit higher than... Yep. than you know, able to negotiate to... a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, was lucky enough. Got one of them. And I was super excited. Um... And that's actually what we're drinking today, which was awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So good. Um, but yeah, so I was super excited. And you know the thing with the hunting is, is we did, um, like most of this we got, I want to say in like one or two weeks. And then for the rest of the month, we've been striking out dry everywhere. We went six hours one day, driving around, hunting for stuff. Didn't find anything. Nope. So... Um, you know, to get a couple of good bottles at the beginning of the month really made our month great. Yeah. Well, one one day we got, what, five bottles in one day of yeah. all just killer stuff. So, um, next thing we got is the Kentucky Spirit from Wild Turkey. This is a store pick for the New Hampshire uh, Liquor and Wine Outlet. Yep. So, just something they had we're looking to try. Yeah, 101 proof, so it should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good single barrel. All right, Texas bourbon. Texas, this is the uh, the barrel proof, and this one was the, what, 118.8 uh, proof. Coming from our, our friend Miguel down in Texas again. He hooked us up awesome. This guy has been absolutely great for, for helping us on this channel and sort of growing. He's been finding some great stuff that we cannot get up here at all. No, and, and, and again, you know, check out our bourbon hunting video and this link right up here somewhere. Matt put it in there. Um, you know, it, it, you have to talk with other people because for us, we have the liquor store for New Hampshire, which is where we live, and we go down to Massachusetts and we can, you know, hunt all the stuff down there. We have better luck in Mass than we do in New Hampshire. New Hampshire sucks. The way they release shit does not make any sense. 
Yeah. But we have also the great stuff that we can't get in either state, and we're only going to get it by making talking friends. with other people, yeah. making friends. Networking. Exactly. And hey, if you want to get some stuff from us in New Hampshire, you can't get down there, and vice versa. We're willing to work with you guys. Hit us up, message us. You know, it's all about everybody getting you know yep. something. And we got another work coming up, hopefully for the uh, trying to work on a stack junior. For a little bit of a trade, yep. And um, you know, it's 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 you know, I got stuff that they want. They have stuff that I want. Like, I'm more than happy to trade out just to, to try to you know get us all to where we're going. Actually, let's grab the Heaven Hill next. That also came from him. Something else I cannot find up here. Yeah. We all was like, hey, buddy, look at this. I was like, yeah, hook it up for me, and he absolutely did. So, and he got me th these two both at retail, which is nice. So, um, you know, it, it's just once again stuff we couldn't get. I've been wanting to try the Bottled and Bond. Yep. Um, and, I, you know, they also are the ones that do the uh, Henry McKenna. So it should be should be some pretty good juice inside there. So I'm very, I hope so. very excited Looking forward to trying it. All right. Old Scout. So this is another store pick, I believe, right? Yeah, this was another store pick. Um, came from another local place. Um, actually, a great little small store, Wang's. Yep. Um, in Amesbury, Mass., they have a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, they do hit secondary pricing on, on a good amount of stuff, but they have a lot of other good stuff, too, at retail. And you know what the best part is? Because he's a small store, he's stocked up with great stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was one where we've been we've been struggling to find the Handy and Chillers, and he had a whole bunch of them. It's on him. You know what I mean? And, and, um, and same thing with some of these other bottles that we've been looking for. He just, they're all there. Yeah. And some of his secondary isn't too bad. We have some other stuff we got from him at secondary coming up, which we'll explain to you guys. Uh, but some of it wasn't priced that yeah. awful. It was twenty, thirty dollars higher, maybe. Yeah, that's it's not not bad at all. Which I'll, I'm me personally, I'm comfortable doing that to support a small store. Yep. You know what I mean? And and he's he's a good guy. He helped us out. You know, we actually ended up getting another the the Weller at at. Well, why don't we? We'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and pull this one out. Weller full proof at retail. You know what I mean? And, and and like I said, it's great. You support the small stores. They support you back. That's the way the business is supposed to work. It's all about supporting places. And I'll tell you, this pick was phenomenal. It was my first Weller Foolproof that I've ever had. I've been trying to get this stuff for years. Cannot find it anywhere. Every time I try, sells out fast. Mm -hmm. um, but this pick was absolute fire. Yeah, delicious. Absolutely amazing pick that he chose, definitely, for that one. So super excited to add some Weller Foolproof to the bourbon bar here. All right, next. We got some Russell's single barrels. So we had, we actually got both store picks and just some regular single barrels. These have just been gone for a while. New Hampshire just did a store, uh, 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 big store pick. Yep. Dropped them all over the place. You sort of had to, you know, scrounge around to find them because they were going pretty fast. Um, but it's, it's nice that we were able to get some. Yeah. This is another one, you, you know, we found cause of the bourbon groups. Yeah. You know, somebody dropped it on one of the bourbon groups online and, um, said, Hey, you know, and you, you hop on right down there and luckily we were able to get a hands on a couple. Yeah. Which was awesome because we've been looking for them. I only had one more in the bar, so I was running out. All right. Next up, we're going to go to a little bit of rye, Sagamore Spirit Rye. Yeah, um, you know, I was just talking to another buddy in, in a store. We actually just happened to be there at the same time for a store pick. He's like, hey, you got to really try the Sagamore out. Um, he's like, it, it's phenomenal. It's something that I haven't tried yet, and I'm trying to get to try a lot of stuff. Problem is, is there's a lot of stuff out there. So, you know what? I picked up the thing, and this one is a um, straight rye, cast drink. What is it? 112.2 proof. So, I'm looking forward to it. Cash strength yeah. rye. I mean, I'm not huge into rye right now. I'm trying to get more into rye, especially for when we see what's coming up. Um, All it up with a Jack Daniels single barrel rye. Yeah, this well. one This one was bought just for the purpose of making an old-fashioned. I asked for you guys' best old-fashioned recipes, and somebody's like, hey, you got to try this. So, you know what? Went out, got a bottle because I didn't have it in all the other Jack that I have. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to be making an old-fashioned with it and see how it comes out. Hell yeah. All right. Next up, we have Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Been looking for this one for quite a while. Yeah. Every time it literally goes on the, sh the shelves up here, even with the bourbon groups, I went to, we have what, one, two, three, four, five, five liquor stores close to us. By the time I got to all of them, all gone. Yep. So 
found this one, had to pay a little bit over retail, which wasn't bad. It wasn't no. full secondary, but you know what? I'm just happy that we were able yeah, to get one. I just wanted to get one and try it. Yeah. yeah. So definitely excited about that. All right. So we have an Elijah Craig single barrel. So this is a store pick. Yeah, this also came from Wang's. And this one, I mean, he picked some fire. This stuff was, what, 133.9 proof? Yeah. And I will tell you, it is phenomenal. It is hot, but it is a phenomenal drink. Um, so loving the Elijah Craig. You know, any of these single barrels that are high proofs always come out usually with a really good flavor behind them. Definitely. All right. So New England Barrel Company, something that's close to us. Um, we got two of them, two different ones. Yeah, two different ones. These are both the uh, um, presents selections, little private barrels that they're offering. Um, you know, they've been doing a ton of just absolute fire picks. Yeah, I mean everybody's been raving about them, and it's nice because they're they're literally right up the road from us. Uh, but we were able to you know get on, um, get some of these bottles before they ended up selling out on these picks, and it adds to our other. Um, all the bottles that we have of them, which have been all delicious. So yeah. I'm excited to try these two as well. They're definitely putting out some really great stuff. Yeah, and both, what, 114 and 132? Yeah. So definitely my proof range. Yeah, a little high for me, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to get there. I'm going to yeah, get your there. Your big right boy palate will know. grow in one day. One day. One day I'll become a man. All right. So next, super awesome lucky day for us. You used to have a small batch. And we found a single barrel. And the single barrel was the harder one because um, we were each able to get a small batch. Only he was able to get a single barrel. I wasn't. By the time I got there, they were like, yeah, nope, already gone. Um, the the, the actual the, the store manager of the liquor store I went to, and he's like, hey, I got an Eagle Rare instead. I'm like, you know what? I'll take an Eagle Rare. Yep. Like, I, I've got 14 of them. I don't need any more. But you never <laughs> say no when you're getting an Eagle Rare. It's, just, it's a great drink. Mm -hmm. But we're super excited because... We've had one of these. We haven't cracked it open to try it yet, but nope. we've not been able to find the single barrel yet. So yeah. we're definitely looking to uh, open them up. We're actually going to throw them together in a blind with some other stuff just to see how it all plays out. and um, But also just see if they're worth the hype. Yeah. You know, we've done some stuff. Like, we found the Elmer T. Lee. Super was awesome. Was not win. worth the hype. Though. Was not worth the it's hype. It's a good drink. Just not. Oh, yeah. It's, it's great if it's a $40 bourbon, but it's definitely not a $400 bourbon like it's going for on secondary. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, E.H. Taylor's not, you know, as high on secondary single barrels up there um, price wise a little bit, but not too bad. So we'll see how they do uh, price wise. And see, luckily, we got these ones here at retail, too, which is uh, which was a great thing. Yeah. This one was uh, what, $38. This one was $59. Yep. So. Um, that's the one great thing about a state controlled liquor program is you do pay retail. Uh, there's no market up. There's no secondary stuff. The, the problem is, is you gotta be out there when it drops. Yep. Definitely. It's a hard thing to do. Very hard thing to, to be it's almost there. like you gotta be dedicated just to getting bourbon sometimes. Seriously. Seriously. When they're gonna we, drop it. we lucked out because of our work, the way that our work is, uh, scheduled and everything. We do 24 hour shifts. So we have a lot of days off because these things dropped in the day and they were what gone by one o'clock yeah so if, if you're hours. working a normal job you ain't getting your hands on them um which is you think is a really crappy thing the way the state puts it all out but yeah i wish it would definitely be a better way but for now it is, it is what it is. is so that is our store haul for this month like i said a lot of great bottles this was all in the beginning of the month the end of the month we totally dried up i don't think we bought a single bottle for the past probably Two weeks, three weeks, just because it's just been so dry out there for, for drops. It's been depressing to walk into the stores and be like, you guys ain't got nothing new? Yeah. So, just a bunch of uh, normal stuff. So, that's our video for this week. We hope you follow us along for the main shit. And we hope you guys all have a great day.